Okay, thanks everybody uh, for taking the time to uh, <coughs> my view here. Screen. Thanks everybody for taking the time to come on tonight. Um, is that Chris out at the bottom, the telephone number? No, that's um, that's uh, Fiorella Badia. Oh, okay. Um, you do have Chris on, right? Chris is on as well. Okay. Uh, so as you know, we um, um, Bob Cronin had put his paperwork in to uh, retire. Last day is December third. Uh, yeah, if I'm wrong, Jack. But his last day is December third. Uh, and advertised his position uh, a while back because remember Bob had intended to retire back in July. So we went through the uh, the process, the DCHD process of advertising the position. We had 41 applicants. Um, so when Bob finally <clears throat> put his paperwork in, we quickly uh, I formed a committee made up of myself, Nick, uh, John Greco, um, and Pam Hauser as the tenant president, and um, Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to call the meeting to order. Uh, yeah, it's a good one, huh? So welcome to the um, Arlington Housing Authority um, Commissioner's meeting on November 9th, uh, at 03. Uh, the meeting is called for the purpose of voting um, for the hiring of our new director of uh, maintenance. Uh, and as I started to say, we were able to get a handful of people in to interview. We come up with a matrix, the decision matrix, we got applicants uh, in terms of qualifications. And then we had um, four candidates for interviews. We did the interviews, um, one didn't show. Um, and ultimately um, the committee felt that uh, Chris Partridge was the most qualified candidate. Uh, and then we turned it over to Jack, who uh, is the hiring authority for those um, people below him. Uh, but I felt it would be nice for uh, um, Jack to introduce Chris and, and if any of the board members who weren't in that process uh, have any questions for him. Uh, and I think it'd be, uh, be great if we take a formal vote to endorse his hiring. So Jack, I'll turn it over to you to, to introduce him. Yeah, so um, so before I, I Brian, turn it over to you, need to take a, you need to take a roll call, Brian. Oh, yeah. It's part of the meeting. Oh, my goodness, am I out of it. <laughs> so uh, roll call, um, Gar? Here. Uh, Nick? Here. Uh, Joanne? Here. And Fiorella? Here. Great, thanks. Go ahead, Jack. So before I turn it over to Chris, um, you know, which is, I'd just like to first state, you know, how excited we are. Um, to have an internal candidate with the qualifications that Chris has. Um, and, and we hope that, you know, we can work, you know, we're already starting to talk about some great things and great initiatives and, and ways in which we can manage and, and uh, move the authority forward. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to Chris um, because he'll be able to, to speak the best to uh, his qualifications and some of the ideas he has for the authority. Uh, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me all right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Jack. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying uh, a few thank yous. Uh, first of all, to the uh, um, Mr. Chairman and the hiring committee and Jack Nagel. Um, I understand what an important process this is for the Housing Authority. Um, also, thank you to the board members here tonight uh, for being part of the process. Um, we, As Jack stated, we're, uh, we're already moving forward with some great initiatives. We've been working hard. And I just wanted to state uh, to, well, some additional thank yous. Uh, I wanted to take a minute to thank uh, John Griffin and Bob Cronin for the, uh, not only the personal support for me, uh, but their contributions to the Housing Authority, Arlington Housing Authority uh, for many years. Um, their impact will be felt for many years to come. They laid uh, some great contributions and groundwork, which uh, we are building on now. So thank you to those guys and enjoy your retirement. Um, so just uh, regarding some of the qualifications that I have, I, I got to speak at length um, during the interview process about that. Um, I'm happy to speak now if anyone has any more questions, uh, but I'm just really excited about the opportunity, looking forward to working with Jack and the rest of the management staff and the maintenance team with some great projects moving forward. So thank you to all. With that, any of the board members have any questions for Chris? No, I'd like to say I, I've known uh, Chris for a long time, probably, I think it's 
25 years or more. And I think we're fortunate to have a, a candidate like him. Um, I think his personality is, you couldn't find a better person and, you know, to take, you know, a lot of people are going to call him with problems, issues. I mean, he's a listener and he's just like his personality is perfect for this job. And uh, I think he'll be great at it. So. I agree. I agree. Thank, Thank you, Gar. You. Joanne, did you raise your hand? Yes, I did. Can good. you hear me? Yep. Oh, good. Well, um, this is indeed a wonderful hire. And I thought it was a very impressive CV. In fact, it was so impressive. There are some things I didn't understand. <laughs> so is it hard if I ask, uh, Chris? Sure. Um, I know what relationship management is, and that's going to be very helpful, I think. But I don't know what process improvements are. Is Chris still there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Um, process improvements, are you speaking it's to me? It's on your CV at the very top. <clears throat> Oh, well, so some of the process improvements that we've worked on was uh, right from the beginning, uh, just after COVID hit, was uh, our work order system. So we developed a, okay. a process to enhance the work order system and get it a bit more clean uh, and, and tidied up, as it were. So that was just one of the first systems that we worked on. Um, and then I proactively started to develop some other systems. Um, for example, after our tenant president's meetings, uh, they they're generally geared toward maintenance questions. So that's attended by the maintenance staff, uh, the management, as well as the property managers. So one of the things I aim to do was get all the information from all the tenant presidents and uh, put them on a spreadsheet. And I distribute that to all the different parties involved so we can assign uh, accountability and timelines. So the next president's meeting, we go over that and re we review what was done and who did it. And, and it's just a better way of uh, keeping on task with all these different projects. So those are just some of the projects and processes that I like to develop. I'm kind of a system oriented uh, person. I also have in the can a, uh, a design for sort of a, a sort of a customer improvement process with regard to work orders. So we have a maintenance clerk working now and the goal is uh, over time to have her be able to reach out selectively to tenants and have them be able to uh, rate our level of service uh, for a few different degrees. So just different processes that uh, Jack and myself put together um, that we've done over time and continue to build on. And Joanne, it's an ongoing process too that um, uh, Chris has had a no, lot of experience around. Yeah, no, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a normal process within the owner in, in sort of manufacturing and operations around how you just look at the existing process and how do you improve it to make it more efficient and more productive. And based on what Chris has done over the last couple of years of uh, pretty impressive stuff, so. Yeah, that's great. Fiorella, do you have any questions since we can't see your hand? I'm ready to thank you, yeah. Uh, Chris, I, hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, um, so I noticed that you've been at the Arlington Housing Authority since 2019, and I love all the certifications and trainings that you've gone through. I'm sure that has, you know, opened your view with how to manage all of that as well. But I was wondering if you would uh, consider making like the maintenance crew also take those trainings? Um, yeah, so everyone I think is... Go ahead. Sorry. No, sorry, you can, yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, so um, I'm a firm believer in, you know, education for not only the administrative staff, but for the maintenance personnel. We have some great resources um, at our disposal in terms of anything that uh, DHCD offers. They offer ongoing training. Uh, MAHAMS, the, the maintenance organization uh, that Roly is the treasurer of, uh, as well as Mass Naro. There's some terrific resources at our disposal, and I would certainly advocate for as much training as, as we can afford and uh, to get to the guys, because the more knowledge we have, the, the smarter we are as a group, the better we can do uh, with all seasons. Right. All right. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to add to that, uh, Fiorella, that um, we had talked about this, um, putting a, a training, a mandatory training for all the staff members. Of course, COVID has really put the brakes on it. Uh, and then uh, with with John's retirement and so forth. So Jack and I has discussed. Um, so when we hire the new executive director, we then want to plan for a, a 
full day type training uh, of various seminars. For instance, one being you know a customer service uh, program to um, you know enlighten staff on how to deal with with tenants from a customer service basis. You know, uh, um, another thing is this pest management program. You know, how to uh, teach the staff on to to look out for signs and symptoms and, and uh, train the trainer and that sort of stuff. So and the board will be an integral part of that day uh, in terms of uh, training. What we'll do is, uh, as we get closer, uh, we'll put a list of things that the board thinks of. And now Chris would put a list of things from, from his perspective and, and Jack and the ED and so forth. Um, and we'll put together a full day of, uh, of training. Uh, Jack and I participated today in a um, um, diversity um, not task force, but it was put on by the police department in the town at the town hall. Um, it was, uh, um, what was the title, Jack? It was diverse. It was uh, hate crimes. It was, it was, yeah, it was related to hate crimes. Yeah, it was related to hate crimes. And um, uh, that would be certainly, you know, a part of the training and diversity and inclusion and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, so that's, that's something great. we get to look great. forward to. Is, that. Yeah. So. Uh, anybody else have any questions for Chris? So could we uh, take a formal vote? Is there a motion? Uh, to support the hiring of Chris. So moved. I second. With pleasure, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, second, and um, Jack, could you um, please just tell us the, the new title that you've picked? Director of Mod Maintenance and Modernization. Yeah. Um, and that will fit in, as you'll see in further meetings, Jack's restructuring uh, of staff members. So we have a, a motion, we have a second, uh, all in favor, Joanne. Yes, um, I'm just writing down the name. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Nick? <laughs> yes. Uh, Gar? Yes. Um, Fiorella? Yes. And myself, so that's a unanimous vote. Chris, welcome on board. We look forward to uh, many, many years of uh, work with you and uh, building a great um, Arlington Housing Authority. Well done, Chris, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. The feeling's mutual. I can't wait to work with all of you. We're going to do some great things. Thank you again. Excellent. Excellent. So Thanks. with that being the only agenda item, um, do we have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Okay. Uh, second, guard motion. Okay, motion uh, by Gar, second by Nick. Uh, all in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Fiorella? Yes. Myself is a yes. So thank you, folks. I told you it'd be short and sweet. And uh, thanks for coming on. And we'll see you um, on our next um, board meeting. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Congrats, Chris. Way to go, Chris. See ya. Welcome, Chris. Have a good night. Thank you.